Okay, it's Sunday morning, the 2nd of September. Uh, you wouldn't say it's spring. I mean, it doesn't look like spring at all. It's quite rainy on this side. Uh, some really good rain falling in, uh, in Cape Town. Uh, just throwing some feed in for the fish. The water is absolutely freezing. Um, I think it's still down about uh, kind of 14, 15 degrees. So it's very, very cold water and I can't be breeding for a while so the fish are looking really good they haven't been eating much in fact I threw in very little this morning and you can see most of it is just getting uh, getting left because the water is so cold this is wheat germ um, hikari that I'm feeding at the moment so yeah not really keen to, to eat much at all there's my koi cat He's always in here with the, the fish, but I think he's got a, an agenda that links into him eating as much koi food as he can possibly <laughs> eat while he's here. Some of the smaller homegrowns are looking quite good. They haven't really grown that much. I mean, I didn't expect much in the last couple of months because it's been so cold. Um, I do think between September and January, I'm going to get some serious growth out of them. So that'll be quite interesting as well. Um, but they're looking really good. Here you can see the, the toss eye in the middle of the, the frame that I keep on pulling out and we monitor its uh, growth and its development. Um, coming on nicely, lots of black coming through with the, um, with the winter. So uh, uh, the, the cold water definitely helps the sumi on your fish to, uh, um, to come out more and to solidify. Here you can see sure the cat's feeling more more koi pellets as he as he goes. I actually had both these. I've got two screens covering uh, my bucket showers, and they just basically done these screens. Both of these screens had to get remade, so they pulled, pulled apart and put together again. The wind was so hectic here that uh, uh, it, it absolutely ripped into them and ripped them up the, the wall. So they've been put back again and uh, they're looking a little bit better. Maybe we should go now to the ponds I'm going to use for breeding and I'll show you what's happening on, uh, uh, on that side. Okay, so here are my spare ponds and that's basically my entire setup. So the big pond, I've got two green tanks and then four uh, uh, cement above ground ponds. What I've done here is I've isolated these two ponds off of the system. So this one and the one next door and possibly they hold about uh, uh, gosh I would say about a thousand liters uh, each and there's my cat again trying to get the attention um, and, and literally what I'm doing now is I'm just letting this set up naturally so there's no no flow through here um, except maybe for a small stream of uh, oxygen I've put Daphnia in here got the Daphnia going really really strong and this is where I'm going to put the babies once I've uh, once I've spawned them so what I'll end up doing is I'll spawn in this big tank here I'll obviously move fish around there's a couple of bigger ones in here some of them will go to my pond the goldfish will move to another uh, another pond as well and then I'll spawn the, the mature fish in here and literally take the eggs from here and then put them into the uh, the, the two ponds that I've got the Daphnia in for for hatching and that's how I'm going to do it this season let's see how it, uh, uh, how it goes the goldfish are moving around a lot more than they were they were actually absolutely freezing and they were just lying on the bottom uh, which wasn't uh, wasn't great but they they starting to move around quite a bit now which is uh, which is not I might do some goldfish spawning this year as well I don't really have a lot um, 
I've got a whole lot of smallies as well. I'm still going to sell a lot of these as well. Um, maybe just keep some goldfish, but uh, essentially just use the big pond for spawning. Keep this one filled with uh, with fish, and then start raising in these two uh, in these two tanks, and then moving them into the system as they as they go. So as they get bigger in here, and as they're eating the daphnia, get to a decent size, I'll then put them into the bigger tank for um, for raising, and that's essentially the process I'm going to use for my breeding throughout the season. So they'll start off on this side here as eggs and, and young fry, and then they'll move into the, the pond next door. In fact, in the beginning, I'm only gonna put eggs in, in here's my, here's my cat again. Uh, I'm only gonna put eggs in the uh, the first one, and then as I as I select out, I'm gonna move them to the second uh, to the second tank. But that's all gonna happen pretty, pretty soon. I just need the weather to play along and get warmer. I mean, I normally find by the end of September I can start uh, breeding, but anytime sooner, and I'm not gonna get them to spawn all, all the hatch rates are just not gonna be, be great because it's just far too cold to be um, breeding at the moment. So I'm quite excited to get this, uh, this going at the moment in these green tanks. I've got lots and lots of uh, uh, Daphne. You maybe can't see them that clearly because they're quite far down. Maybe if I zoom in on the wall, you can see what's going on there. Yeah, you can see Daphne on the wall. So this tank is packed with it. I'm just using these two green tanks to uh, to get the Daphne growing. And you can see lots and lots of Daphne. I need I actually need more than this, so I'm going to put some food in here to feed these Daphne as well. But um, yeah, I'm very excited. It's, it's soon going to be the the breeding season. We're going to get things going. This is my dog. Piper, she's a bull bull, it's a South African breed of uh, dog. She's actually just had a, an op on her, uh, on her leg. She's very rough and she plays quite rough with the other dogs, so it's, it's always uh, chaotic. I mean, she's really sweet and uh, nice, but a very big dog, she weighs about, she weighs about uh, 50 kilos, and, and that's not a big one for this breed. They can get up to about 80 kilos, the males. So, uh, she's fairly big, but she's uh, just a real softer. Okay, so that's what the ponds are looking like today. Um, from next weekend, I'm going to start posting on a regular basis as I get the spawning side of things uh, sorted out and get things ready. And that's when the action is really going to start uh, is really going to start happening. Um, so yeah, if you're enjoying these videos, please like my uh, my channel so that you can get the updates as uh, as they happen. Thanks a lot. Cheers.